the pricing. It can't just be about the... 30th of June, the, <coughs> of June, the court issued um, orders that uh, the Finance Act should not be implemented. That is true. The matter is pursued. That is true. On the same date, April came, came out and announced the figures that implement the VAT on fuel, which was, but, which was effective the following day. But, but, but the finance... 10 days now. You know, the Finance Act talked about the increase on the VAT on fuel, uh -huh. right? right? Yeah. But it did not talk about the, 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 the local standard of the EPRA as an organization to review their pricing at whatever time. What, about, sir, what are you saying? What I'm saying is very simple, that EPRA reviews their prices on 14th of over, over and over. It's it just coincidental that at no. that point, they review on such every happened. Month. <laughs> but that is what I'm saying. It was just coincidental that at that point, they decided at that date. 13th of June is not 14th of June. You see, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not envisaged in law that it's 14th of every month. It's, it's, it's their operations per se. Come on. And within that time, they decided to do but, that. Honorable Soro, please, let, let's be honest. You Just... know, I am, I am simply coming up with my own assertions as far as this is concerned. You are forcing me to hold brief for April. I'm only imagining what they ought you see, to have you done. See, you, see, so, you see, you're the majority <laughs> whip, yes. so you would know. And I am telling you. And I am answering you. Just hold on. Yes. Every 14th of every month, yes. April announces fuel prices. But this time? Based on calculations of what has happened. Yes, but this and time? And in fact, on 14th of June, they did so. And this time? 16 days later, they announced the <coughs> new prices to take into effect the Finance Act which had been passed. Their statement says as much. We need to discuss such when we have facts on their reasoning behind the increase at that point. It can't just be regarded as, uh, as, <laughs> as uh, it can't really just be regarded. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It can't just be regarded that they defied the court order. <coughs> really, we can't do that. But in, uh, in as much as all the other court matters are concerned, yeah, we we are okay. You know, like you've seen, the court uh, gave a judgment over the CSS and <coughs> such. They are not in office. We are obeying. The, I mean, really, initially, as the Mio had propelled a certain narrative to the public that uh, we've pocketed the courts. I do not know, I haven't even seen them now commend them about the CSS. When they ruled in our favor in the election petition, okay. they were condemned. When they ruled in, the, in favor of, uh, in, of course, against the CSS, right. they haven't commended them. So, oh, okay, <laughs> that's fine. Horrible, Mboy, you, you, your take on this. <laughs> now, you know, uh, some, when you, you know, you kept telling uh, on Bozoro, be honest. And uh, you use the word honesty. I'm finding it difficult to connect the word honesty and Osoro in the same time. <laughs> they are not mixing. <laughs> because throughout, <laughs> he's looking for a way out. And, you know, Osoro here talked about uh, that we are living in an imaginary world. And, and I want to understand some of these policies of Kenya Kwanza. Is it deceit or imaginary? Because you've talked about so many things. You would lower the price of gas. You give us free Wi-Fi, free telephone calls, cheap phones. There's so many things. But, you but you are doing that. The, you'll uplift the Mamamboga, the Boda Boda <coughs> operators, and now they're all crying out there. So I don't know whether, whether, we, <laughs> whether we are the ones who are, who are living in a dream world or it is you when you're giving those promises. But let me say this, uh, Sam, because there's an issue that... Um, uh, shouldn't be left out. The reason, one of the main reasons why we, our people are protesting is actually also the passage of this finance act. Mm -hmm. And there's something that uh, people haven't noticed, but uh, you see, in the run-up to the, to the passage of this bill, the president himself went and said that uh, he's... Um, you know, that, that the people that are protesting are the people that work for government, uh, that are paid by taxpayers, and they're protesting a very small increase of 3%. And he even implied that uh, they remain with 97%. Not to, not to forget that people pay income tax, you know, pay as you want, they pay NSSF, they pay NHF. But then what has happened after that, uh, Sam, I think it was a conspiracy. Because immediately after the passage of this, uh, this, this bill, it becomes an act of parliament, and then suddenly SRC announces increases of salaries of members of parliament, of the executive, and of civil servants. And the civil servants are only being given enough to cover the increase in taxation. And just up to the about seven eight percent, and then uh, members of parliament, because of the good work they did in uh, you know to represent the executive, they get fourteen percent. Mm -hmm. And then the president goes out there and says, no 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 no, stay this. But let me tell you, SRC cannot reach a point of declaring an increase without having discussed this with the head of state. But what is going to happen is this. 
The people who are going to be hit by this finance bill are not even the civil servants, because the civil servants will get a small increase to cushion <coughs> that increase. But the huge pay bill of the country in the private sector, that is what was the target all along. In fact, the people that work for the media stations, the people that work in private uh, you know, hospitals, private institutions of learning, all these companies outside <coughs> there are the ones that were the target from the beginning up to now. So I think we've been played, you know, that this was a conspiracy and it has come to, to, to pass. Members of parliament will be given money to cushion that increase and a little bit extra for a Which good money? job well done. Which money? SRC has proposed an increase in salaries of, the, of, the of all those people that work for government, but, the but not for the people that do not mm -hmm. work for government and the economy is doing so badly. It's very unfortunate. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry, what is that you want to say? No, he just said that members of parliament have uh, their, their salary increased. But uh -huh. it's on record that the president is against that. He's, he's advised that. He's actually rejected. No, 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 it is true. He's, there, is, there is nothing like PR. We actually do not want a salary increase. And it, it will actually oh. be the members of parliament. It will be immoral to increase the... The, the, the members of parliament salary now. It's, 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 it's fair and reasonable to do it to other civil servants. But, but, but for members of parliament... What power does the president have over SRC? You cannot direct 